Hey there. Welcome to Butterfly Learning's YouTube channel. Today we are going to answer the question why does my child cry when he is asked to study? Why does my child cry when he is asked to study? When she is a mother of 4 year old son Vicky. He just started going to school. In the evening, she tries to make him revise the things that were taught that day. When she sits with him to study, he cries and screams. Sometimes, she gives up or somehow covers a small amount of portion. As days pass by, a lot has been taught in school. Vicky needs to catch up. The biggest roadblock to her goals was the child's challenging behaviors. Like Winchy, this is a common problem faced by every parent, whether their toddler has just begun the journey of academics or the child is a regular school goer. Parents try to incorporate various methods to make the child sit and study for hours. Either the child cries, screams, yells, flops on the floor, engages in other challenging behaviors or asks for a bathroom or dinner breaks or sweetly convinces parents to do some other activity. Whatever the alternative, the parents end up giving in to the child's demands. Are you still wondering why my child shows behaviors when asked to study? Understanding, escape, as a function children show behaviors for a function. In this case, the function is escape. Child shows escape behaviors when he wants to avoid a difficult task or doesn't want to do something. You need to find out the trigger behind the child's behavior through observation. Be patient and carefully keep an eye on his emotions and actions. And you will figure out what makes him upset. There is a difficulty in transition. Transitioning from one activity to another is difficult for some children. The child gets invested when he is playing. The child is having a blast of enjoyment. We want to make him study. We take away the screen device or put an end to his playtime. Try to comprehend what has happened. The child was engaged in a high preferred activity, playing, and suddenly he is told to engage in a low preferred activity, study. Why would he want to do a very demanding activity? He wants to go back to the activity that provides enjoyment. That's why he shows behaviors. What to do if the child faces difficulty in studies? Yes, children find difficulty when they study because of which they might want to escape it entirely. The reason is children feel they are on their own when studying. One provide him help if the child is finding something difficult to understand. He feels his parents are there to support him. The child feels motivated and stays on the course. Give your child some breaks for younger children. Studying for over 20 minutes is sufficient for them to get a break. Keep an eye on a child's behaviors, such as being unable to focus or feeling restless. Then it is a clear sign he needs a break. Breaks work as an energy booster for children when they feel they have exerted all of their energy on one topic. Let your child stand up, walk around the house and wiggle during break time so his brain gets the much needed relaxation. Do not forget to reinforce. Learning is a mentally taxing activity for a child. We must provide positive reinforcement to our children in order for them to acknowledge their efforts. Praise the child for working hard and striving to do better than the previous time. Give the child reinforcement, no matter how small the progress. So he